In this video, we're going to talk about what a PRA is and how to resolve or remedy the problem on an ATV 61 and even a 71 drive. So first of all, PRA is a status, um, not really a fault. And what that's telling us is that the PWR terminal located right here next to your 24 terminal right here it's usually jumpered between them is not getting a 24 volt DC supply now from the factory you will have this type of jumper between PWR and plus 24 volt terminal if that jumper is missing this will need to go between them now in the event that you have a safety or permissive function that you want to utilize where if it opens up then you want to stop the drive then yes, you can go ahead and remove the jumper and apply your safety on PWR and when that no longer gets the 24 supply, it will stop the drive or stop you from running it. So that might be valid in most cases. But if you have no safety or permissive function and there's no wires on PWR terminal and if that jumper is missing, well, that will have to go back in there between them, between plus 24 and PWR like this, okay? Um, if the jumper is in there, then you got to start measuring your actual 24 volt terminal, again right here next to PWR, to common and see if you have a missing 24 volt on the drive itself. Um, if, if that's not there, then you might have a, a wiring issue where you're pulling something down or your drive itself might be in question um, and that might be an entirely drive issue. So. Um, so again, for our purposes here, again, on the top left, it shows PRA because it's your actual status in real time. If that jumper was in there, which I've taken out, that would have showed ready or run if you're running your motor. So having said that, uh, again, if you're doing any kind of troubleshooting with your wiring, uh, make sure that you abide by all the safety um, that we have presented in our manuals. Uh, make sure you don't touch or work with any live units if you're not properly protected. So for our purposes here, we can go ahead and power the unit down. And let's go ahead and uh, put that jumper between PWR and plus 24 and see if that particular status will go away. Again, these are on the rightmost terminals of your terminal here. Number one and number two going from right to left is the PWR and the plus 24 terminal. So having said that, let's go ahead and put that in there. Okay. Make sure so everything is nice and tight. We don't have any loose connections here. That can happen definitely. All right, so we'll put that jumper back up. Now go ahead and start her up. All right, so as you can see, Top left has now gone to ready, meaning that the PWR is now getting a 24 volt supply. So this is basically how you troubleshoot a PRA status on an ATV 61 and 71 drive. Again, just to recap, uh, make sure PWR is getting a constant 24 supply. Uh, make sure nothing is pulling down the power off the drive. Maybe you're bringing your own wire to these terminals. Maybe there's a short or grounding that could be happening, causing 24 to drop. Um, measure with a meter from 24 volt terminal to the common and see if that's there. If it's not there, then um, there could be an actual VFT issue.